Hey ladies and gentlemen, Bird Deloria here. We go higher mindset marketing. And let me show you where I'm at. I'm over here at People's Church. Uh, waiting for my daughter. She's in her practice right now. So uh, if you look at my um, my note or my title today, it talks about tips on family values. You know, it's almost time for Thanksgiving. And so when you think about family, what comes to mind? What are some of your family values that you have in your family? What kind do you have? Okay. If you think about family values, wow. Uh, if you think about it today, most of the values that we used to have, we don't uh, actually, uh, we still have it. However, a lot of us don't use it, put it that way. So if we think about that, I have on my paper here, so what is the benefit of having family values? What is the benefit? What does it establish? So we have family values in order to maintain a healthy family, uh, in order to have a maybe a closer connection with the family. You know, some um, people have a family uh, stating, you know, with their name, you know, we stand for this. This is what the warrior stands for. This is what, you know, the Smith stands for. And this is what we used to do. And this is, you know, you always talk about that, especially around this time as we gather uh, with the family members. We have the older members talking about back in the day, you know, the things that they used to do and the things that they uh, couldn't get away with. So if you think about that in family values, so what are some of your family values that you uh, have within your family? Okay. Hey, Diane. Hey, lady, I hope you're having a super day, girl. I need to call you up. I need to call you and talk with you. So if you think about value values, uh, Diane, what are some of the ones that you have in your family? Hey, Pam, what are some of the values you guys have in your family? Okay, so if we think of some of the value could be uh, generosity, okay? Uh, you know, trying to be, we try to be generous. We are the type of be, uh, people that are trying to be resource, resourceful, trying to help each other. We, you know, if someone has an issue, we try to find a solution, right? Because, you know, most of the time we don't have the answer, but we know people that maybe um, have a better understanding or a better outlook, or maybe they have a degree in that particular area, okay? So then if you look on the next one would be honesty. Oh my goodness, that's a big one, honesty. Uh, how many times we tell our kids, you know, we need to be honest with each other. You know, you could tell me the truth, you know. Let's sit down here and just tell me the truth, you know. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to know the truth, right? And then when we think about integrity, that's a good one, integrity. What are some of the integrity characteristic that you have within your family? You know, what are some of the ones that you have? Uh, for me, I think integrity is in all areas of your life, whether you're inside the home, out the, outside the home, everything should be in order. I mean, if I think about it, uh, integrity. What is your integrity? What is the culture within your family? What is your culture at work? Is it the same type of culture, the same type of uh, values that you take from home to the workplace? Uh, to your community, uh, to the church building, okay? What are those? And then when we think about kindness, kindness, that's another one. Be considerate. We always tell our kids to be considerate. Be kind. You know, be loving, be kind, okay? And then when you think about that, I think that's, that's a good one. If everyone would be kind, you know, how would you like someone to treat you with kindness, you know, uh, with love, right? With compassion. There's when we got even with fairness. What about another one? Fairness. We want people to, to treat us with in fairness, right? We want people within the family to be respectful, and that would be. I, I mean, I think these values, if we, we if we, um, I was instill them within the home. When you go outside, or you see other people go outside, they would be more respectful, wouldn't you think? They would be more respectful, right? Right, Brad? What do you think? They would be more respectful, okay? Then if you think about courage, they would be more courageous, right? They can, you know, if see something is wrong, you know, they will probably try to put it in order. Um, and then what about acceptance? Do we accept everyone in the home uh, regardless of their belief, 
regardless regardless of their lifestyle doesn't mean that you have to like their lifestyle but you just got to accept them as a human being as as a man or a woman you know um, then what about politeness mm, that's a good one politeness sometimes I know I fall short of that one you know because sometimes you're busy and you can you know you're talking to your kids and you're trying to be, I guess, uh, my kids always say, Mom, will you raise your voice? You raise your voice. Can you lower the voice? So within my mom's home, every, I mean, we all have a low voice, a low voice, low voice. My mom doesn't like us to raise our voice. or have, you know, It's like, you're raising your voice. Your temperature is going. I mean, it's just that you got a little bit louder, especially since I live in the country. You know, sometimes you want to get the message across to someone and they might not be near you. So you got to yell, you know. So sometimes when I go to town, like in Los Angeles, I, when I walk into my mom's home, I have to realize I'm in her home and she likes things. Um, how would you say the voice tone of voice has to be lowered you know but then when I come back home it's like you know I not that I raise my voice but I speak loud I, I hope that makes sense okay so I guess you know you can think about the tone of your voice you know sometimes when you're talking to people some people could be more sensitive than others okay and then sometimes I don't know I get so excited and my voice raised you know and then sometimes I have to realize okay I need to calm it down calm it down what about you Brad what about you Carla sometimes do you find that you have to calm down yourself because you're so excited you want to share whatever it is that you that you have on your mind but then you know sometimes it's not for everyone right so those are some of the family values so what is it in your family uh, Carla what about you Brad what are some of the values that you uh, continue sharing with your kids and grandkids if you have grandkids or even your nephews or wherever I mean you everywhere we go we got family members right so what are those some of those values that you instill in your family because I know Carla she's all over uh, Facebook and she has all the pictures and stuff and you too you, you Brad you has a lot of nice posts and stuff so what are some of the values you know so if you guys could just comment below and let me know what are your values and do you still have those values you know I believe that if we were more respectful have the generosity be more honest be more truthful I think society would be uh, a lot better. What do you think? It would be a nicer place to live. Wouldn't you think so? You know, it wouldn't be nobody getting upset and then swearing and cursing and it's like, you know what? Life is so short, you know? So ladies and gentlemen, this is Birthday Warrior. Oh, let me tell you about the scripture. The scripture is taken from Ephesians 4.32. It talks about uh, be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you, forgave me. Okay, so if we dwell on that scripture today, Ephesians 4.32, we can be more kind. We can be a more um, compassionate person, right? We'd be able to share the love of Jesus. We can be able to you know, put ourselves in somebody else's position and then just be, I guess, maybe tone it down and then uh, just go out there and just, you know, just give more. I think we just, uh, in this time of the year, I think people are more giving. What do you think? People are more giving. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bird Del Warrior. We go higher mindset marketing. And if this was of value to you, can you please like Make a comment. What is the values that you have in your family? And do you have values that you used to do? And then some things that you, that you remove and you instill have some new values. Do you have some uh, different culture within your family? Uh, or within your, uh, when you go to work, it's a different culture. Or do you take you wherever you go? You might just maybe take a lower version, you know, like I talk about my when I go over to my mom in Los Angeles, I got to tone down my voice in her home, right? So what is that for you? Okay, so please like, comment, and share. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And as I walked here, out here, let me show you guys in People's Church. Look at this. It's a beautiful campus. It's a beautiful church. Look at it. It's so beautiful. You know, they keep it so nice. Okay. So as I stand out here waiting for my daughter, 
um, waiting for her to finish her choir practice and then I'm uh, heading on over to my girlfriend's home. So ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys have a super awesome afternoon. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.